One long distance flight consumes fuel, which a car uses in several years' time. But it causes the same amount of pollution. So some people think that we should discourage non-essential flights, such as tourist travel, rather than to limit the use of cars. To what extent do you agree or disagree? It is irrefutable that the fuel consumed by long, one long-distance flight is consumed by a car in several years' time, and the amount of pollution it produces is also more. Therefore, some people suggest that non-essential flights, including international travel, should be discouraged. I totally disagree with this statement. I feel that even though cars produce less pollution. And use less fuel. Still, we should focus on limiting the number of cars. Discouraging flights would lead to many other problems. At a time when people all over the world worry about the decreasing level of fossil fuels and global warming, it is right to take action to save the planet Earth. However, to simply discourage flights is not the answer. International tourism has become the backbone of many economies of the world. Many countries are earning from tourism. Many people are importing this industry. Many businesses, like hotels and leisure centers, are dependent on tourists. So, if we discourage international tourism, it would create new and even worse problems. Many businesses would go broke, and many people would be without jobs. Air flight also enables intercultural exchanges between countries. The advent of cheap air fare makes it possible for people the world over to travel regular, regardless of the purpose of the trip. Therefore, people have the opportunities to learn from different cultures, cultures, and have a better understanding of countries they used to be unfamiliar with. This. In turn, enhances cultural communications between countries. What we should do is to limit the use of cars. The number of cars is increasing at a very fast pace. This is creating too many problems. Cars are using too much of fossil fuels. They are creating a lot of pollution. They are leading to traffic congestion on the roads. And they are also causing accidents. To put it in a nutshell, I plan on saying that traveling by air should not be discouraged. Instead, the use of cars should be limited.